Okay, so here's a real quick intro to how you can use uh, batch file processing to get data into Adobe Target. Uh, so here, here's the Chrome extension I was talking about earlier, how you can see what activities you're in. Uh, you can see what profile attributes are mapped to your visitor ID. You can see here I've got a combination of uh, offline data as well as the data that comes within uh, server-side view Adobe Target here. Um, and then the visitor IDs. So here you can see I've got my first party ID, which is the Unbox third party ID. You've got the Adobe target ID or what have you. So the target ID is automatically in place. Strongly recommend one of the simplest and most valuable things you can do is take your visitor ID that's mapped to your internal CRMs or what have you and, and map that. It takes just a few minutes to do and, and kind of opens up a whole world uh, of functionality to you. Uh, but just here quickly to see how this all kind of comes together here. So uh, you have your IDs. Uh, you can see here your ID as well as Adobe's. So you can create a what's called a batch file, which is just a, a text file um, that can have, I, I believe you can have it up to like 50 megabytes um, but the most, uh, uh, the most number of rows you can have is 500,000, which is a lot of rows. So you can see here I've got a batch file based off of the Adobe Target ID, and then a batch file based off of the third-party ID. That's how you differentiate batch files based off of what visitor ID you want to use. So the column here, I should say the first row, represents kind of like the column headers. So for this Adobe Target ID, I'm saying the first name is Brian, the account type is business, kids, two, dogs, two, city, two. And I've got the underscore two to differentiate. It's the second party data. Um, here in the first party, uh, same thing. So you've got like the, the third party ID, 5882300, first name, account type. You can even add something like um, uh, go and then Cubs, and as simple as that. So simply save the files. Um, and this is a very popular method by a lot of organizations to get this data in. Um, it can be uh, updated real easily right from your computer. Uh, so essentially you've got these two command lines that you'll enter into terminal. Um, you can also have like uh, your content management system. You can, you can automate this as well, and a lot of companies do that. Um, if you're going to be using Adobe's visitor ID, Adobe Target's ID, um, the, this is the command. It's, it's the same exact command uh, for using the first party, uh, but I just got different file names here. Uh, you'll need to update the command prompt to use your Adobe Target client ID, uh, but that's pretty easily accessible within the admin section. Uh, so pretty straightforward. You could just like grab these IDs, and I've got one company that has an end user that does this every every week on his own. So simply paste it in there and boom, I just uploaded a bunch of data to Adobe Target for personalization or rules-based targeting. But let's go ahead and, and take a look at that batch file I get for the first party data. So I just added in Go Cubs just now. Um, so I saved that file. Uh, so let me come over to here and do, 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 and do this into the command prompt. Do, Success true, so it's it's been submitted for processing, but Adobe processes things pretty quick. So coming over here, you can see some of the different attributes that I've updated. Now I'm gonna go ahead and refresh this page. Do, 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 do. It's pulling all of my different attributes, and there you have it. Uh, all the different attributes that I've entered in, uh, the account type business, cookie dog equals two, first name is Brian, kids equal two, so you can see some of the du duplicative content there. Um, so you, there you have it, a quick introduction into batch file processing to get data into Adobe Target. Thank you.